My name is Victor, and this is the Zeppon Micro 3 motorized slider. This slider, in my opinion, is one of the best looking sliders in the market because of its form factor and how it's designed. Now, product design comes a long way, especially for me, in my opinion. When you design a product very, very well, it branches off to convenience, to usability, to better its form factor. Now, the Micro 3 comes with an affordable price tag, and that's comparing it against the products that it's trying to compete against. And I think there's a lot of good things that come with this product, but there's also one major disadvantage that this slider has that it might steer you away from it. And there's also a few little quirks that may not be an issue for you, but today we're gonna cover all of that in this video. Now, I was gonna do a full review with the Pons PT, the pan tilt head motorized slider with this so that it's the whole package, but Amazon lost my package. And obviously I'm gonna get a refund, but I waited about two weeks and it didn't arrive. And within those two weeks, I had so many product shoots lined up. It was the perfect time to really utilize the Zeppelin Micro 3 with the pan tilt head with those shoots. But unfortunately, the full review has to wait and maybe we'll do a long-term review when I've actually took this to 100 jobs or something like that. Okay, let's start off with the product design. The inspiration for this product, and I'm very happy to say this, and I'm a huge car enthusiast, and the product design is influenced by the hella flush design. It might not look good to other people. I mean, I, I personally don't like this look, but to some car enthusiasts, this is their build. Now with the hella flush inspiration, everything is kind of designed like a V shape, sort of like a triangular module with all the moving parts. And it's a very intentional design that made the form factor smaller. Now the travel distance is actually farther away from its physical form because it shares kind of like what Edelkron has. Now what comes with the Micro 3 are these support rods that you can attach on tripods. Now what makes this accessory genius is that usually with a slider, especially for a small one, you can mount it right in the middle and that when the slider moves left to right, the weight also shifts left to right. And then you can attach the support rods on the sides to make it more stable. Another cool design that they have implemented, the quarter inch thread and the bigger thread is hidden and that you can hide it when you're traveling with it. This way, when you're transporting the thing, this doesn't get damaged. This is the most crucial part of the slider because this is where you put your tripod heads, your fluid heads, or your pan tilt motorized heads. And that if this gets damaged, I'm sure you're gonna have to ask the manufacturer to replace it. Now, if you buy the slider, it does come with a travel case. The support rods are inside as well. And this is a very sturdy case. Now, this might not be something like the Pelican Air because this, this is a hard case. Almost similar to a hard case because this will survive transport. Now, I haven't flown with this yet, so I cannot confirm it, but I've been traveling with this in my car, like with the set, with my gear in the back seat of my car, and it comes along with it. It doesn't cost extra where the Rhino Arc Ultimate Bundle comes with the hard case, which is appreciated, but the other one, I think it's the advanced kit. It has a bag. It's similar to this. It's actually super soft and I don't trust it, especially when I have a lot of heavy stuff. Obviously, you're gonna want this slider to be on top of the heavy stuff, but you never know what will happen in the back of the truck or in the back of the van. You always want to secure it and stack these gear appropriately. Now the motor comes with the travel case as well and that uh, you can put an NPF battery on here if you do have one. I think what fits in here is the 750 one. And that there's two ways to power the motor. One is again with the NPF battery 
and also with a USB-C cord. Now the app on this thing is very intuitive and I think it's simple enough that you don't need to read the manuals. I hate reading manuals and that this is very simple enough for any consumer to use and it connects to the slider fairly easy. I didn't have to direct it to connect to something. It just automatically does it. And that once and that once you're done, you can just hit done and then you have this control for you. Now, I've seen some reviews that they said that the app is sometimes clunky. And I think they recently updated it, so I really don't have any issues from my first few tests with it. Now, what's cool about this app is that you can set waypoints like similar to other sliders that has a built in app. Now, if you don't want to use the app, you can set the waypoints on the buttons over here and that you can start and stop it. You can loop it as well. And you technically don't need the app, but personally, I've been using the app. I'm a tech guy and I like to test out these features with my production. Now, these tech features are always appreciated, especially for a one man band like me or if you have a small team because you don't have enough hands to handle the lighting, to handle the whole production. It takes time and this saves a little bit of the time and it does add up. It's convenient and it's also fun to use and your clients get like, you can control that thing with your phone. It's like, yeah, most things nowadays can be controlled with a smartphone. Now I've been talking about how good this is because it is good. But there's one major flaw with this one, and that is the noise. Without the motor, it's smooth, it's quiet. But when you start using the motor, it starts to screech, and it's not really a pleasing sound. And one of the craziest things is that it changes tone as well. Check this out. And then I'm going to bring it back. And that sounds like you're connecting to dial up or, you know, the, the screeching digital noise when you pick up the phone and someone's using the internet. And I think it's definitely going to steer you away if you're doing audio work, if you're doing interviews, cinematic interviews where you just loop this and that it just keeps moving. But if you're just shooting B-roll or product videos or anything that doesn't require audio that isn't in a controlled setting or an indoor setting, this can be the perfect slider for you. I think what Zeppelin needs to do is not release a new product because the slider itself is amazing. This is well designed, beautifully crafted, everything feels premium, but they can update the motor, maybe a brushless motor where you don't have the noise anymore. But overall for the price, I think this offers a lot bang for your buck. So the reason why I think the Zeppelin Micro 3 is affordable because if we look at the Edelkrone Slider Plus with the motor, it's already $1,100. And with the Micro 3 with the motor is $649 for the ones that I have. The smaller one is $599 and the longest one is $739. And I think that's a big gap, especially for what you get with the Micro 3. And if we look at the Rhino slider, they offer it without the motors and that's already $800 and $900. And again, it's quite steep. And if we look at the overall cost with the Micro 3 and its pan tilt head, it's about $1,200. And with the competitors, the Edelkrone is over $2,000 and the Rhino Arc 2 Ultimate Bundle, it comes with a hard case, is more than $3,000. Overall, I think Zeppelin just needs to update the motor so that the product can be perfect and that at its price point, you get a lot of value. And I think with all the tech that is being integrated into our camera accessories, the tools that we need for the job, it just gets easier and easier to be a one man band or a smaller team. Now, these products might not ever replace the traditional and trusted gear from Hollywood, but for us independent contractors or 
smaller production teams this really holds a lot of value i think we're at a golden age for camera tech and it's gonna be an exciting year next year and the years coming up no one, uh,